Hey guys, this is your Tested Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about an upcoming tornado threat over the next two days in the United States, specifically around the Midwest Great Lakes regions. Before I get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 65 to 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed, so please click the subscribe button if you like what I already content and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss an upload. Also, like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the SBC's day two outlook, and we have a large marginal risk and two separate slight risks. 17.7 million people are in a combination of both slight risk, including Chicago, Indianapolis, Louisville, Lincoln, Aroa. All those cities are in that slight risk. And we do have two separate 5% tornado risk. Um, one in Kansas, Nebraska, and one in the Southern Great Lakes, uh, Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Eastern Missouri. I do expect the 5% to be extended uh, mainly more north, east, and yeah, north and east. Uh, in the next later up, up, uh, updates, sorry. But we do have a very large 2% region that covers 39.6 million people spreading as far south as Mississippi and as far north as Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan. And this is related to uh, Tropical Depression in Cristobal, um, which will bring isolated, brief tornadoes uh, scattered in the 5% of isolated in the 2%. We do have a 15% wind risk in Illinois, Indiana, and a 15% hail risk in Nebraska and Kansas. Day three outlook, we have a slight risk and a very long marginal risk spreading as far south as uh, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and as far north as Eastern Michigan and New York. The slight risk is in effect for 13.5 million people, including Columbus, Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Rochester. Um, there is a 15% risk. We can't see individual probabilities. However, this slight risk will be wind-driven. I will say that it will be a 15% wind if it is a slight risk in the day two outlook. Uh, the tornado risk is 2%, as the discussion mentions, a tornado or, or two are possible, and it doesn't specify a couple of tornadoes. So 2% tornado risk and hail risk, I'm thinking is either zero or 5% in this case, as freezing levels are going to be too high. And in the day four to eight outlook, we have potential too low for days four to six and predictability too low day seven and eight. Let's get right into the models. You see here with the latest run of NAM 3KM, uh, you do see here the Tropical Depression Cristobal is moving through Missouri around 12Z Tuesday, which is around 7 a.m. Tuesday. And then it pushes into Illinois and does strengthen. Uh, and by strengthen, I mean it brings that threat of tornadoes and damaging winds uh, to the area around 15 to 18Z Tuesday, which is around noon hours, noon 1 p.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time. And cells start to become... Uh, ahead of the big rain shield, uh, a little more discreet, bringing more of a tornado threat around 21Z, which is early afternoon, 3-ish p.m. And if we pop up into uh, the Midwest here and look at that same time, there's a couple cells that if uh, the tornado threat will highly depend on if the if separate cells can actually get ahead of the main rain bands. However, tornadoes are still possible within those. It's just a better chance with those separate discrete cells. If you do look at a sounding in northern Illinois, you do see here a marginal severe risk and a tornado, a significant tornado parameter is... It's not, you know, crazy or anything, but it does support that tornado threat with Cape values nearing 1,500, 2,000 in northern Illinois. Shear is also pretty well, pretty good. Uh, they will push into Wisconsin, Michigan around 7 p.m. Uh, Tuesday. That will bring, all this will bring the threat of heavy rain uh, and damaging winds and isolated tornadoes. If we look at significant tornado parameter real quick. You do see here, this is around that 18Z time where the threat of tornadoes is definitely existent across Illinois into Wisconsin and adjacent areas. 
And you do see another threat kind of pushing through Illinois, Indiana. And if we look at the sounding here, <coughs> tornado parameters definitely in place. Um, however, if we actually look at reflectivity, you really don't see much formation around there uh, storm-wise. But if storms can kick off in that region, uh, which is doubtful right now, they can be able to produce a pretty legitimate tornado threat. But that is a big if and a very conditional threat. That's your trusted weather forecast for this upcoming tornado potential. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.